What's going on y'all? Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna be doing an oil change on my 2011 328i X-Drive. Um, I'm a man of saving money, so I'm by no means a mechanic, but I definitely know how to do certain things myself with my car. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through the experience of doing an oil change on my BMW today. So let's get right into it. Step one, um, I'm just gonna detail to you guys what you're gonna need in order to do a successful oil change on a, on a E93 series chassis BMW. All right, so my choice today, you can either use jack, a jack or a jack stands to hold the car up, but I chose to use Rhino ramps. It makes my life super easy. Just drive the car on the ramps. Um, I have my oil drain pan right there. I have my oil. I have my man filter right here. And you're also gonna need a 16, no, a 86 by 16, um, oil filter cap and don't worry anything that i use in this video i will leave a link down below um the oil that i chose to go with today is pentacin high performance 5w30 motor oil i've been using this oil for about four years now and the oil has been nothing but good to me oh you're also going to need a 17 millimeter socket for the drain bolt on the bottom but this whole kit i got from fcp euro not that, this whole kit right here, I got from FCP Euro and I'll definitely leave a link down below. Um, anybody who owns a German vehicle or a European car, whether it's Porsche, BMW, Audi, Mercedes, FCP Euro is something that you should definitely look into because they have lifetime warranty on all parts. And us as European car owners, we know how beneficial that is. So without further ado, let's get right into the oil change. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to run the car for about three or four or five minutes and just to get the oil running and circulating this way, get the oil circulating this way, it's it's um easier to drain out. It's warm and ready to go. So at this point in the video, the car has been running for about four to five minutes and I'm about to place the Rhino ramps right in front here by each wheel and then I'm going to raise the car up so that um I can get the car up in the air so I can get under for the drain bolt. So let me get right to that. Pacing back and forth oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin well, We fight and we fall and we rise through it Alright, so I can I got the Right now, I got the car successfully up on the rhino ramps right now And I just popped the hood so we get this oil change started. All right, so now at this point in the video, we're about to actually get into the oil change. So a few things I do to prep before I do the oil change. Um, I already have the cap on the, um, on the oil filter. I take off the oil cap over here, which helps with the draining of the oil, helps it drain out very smooth. And right now, <coughs> 17, um, no, it's not a 17 mil, sorry. 17 is for the bottom. <laughs> but you're definitely gonna wanna crack this now. So, just just loosen it up a little tiny bit. Not too much yet, not too much yet. All right, just, I do that this way, it helps with draining. Now I'm about to actually get under the car and we're gonna get ready to crack the drain bolt. Okay, so it's a very tight fit under here, but this is the drain bolt. This is what you're gonna use your 17 mil to crack. So I'm just gonna take my time with it and crack it open because it's gonna start leaking soon. Okay, so I cracked it open already. And now I just gotta be prepared for the drainage. Sorry for the camera angle. It's a little messed up, but. Okay, so oil is draining here. I don't know if you guys can see it's draining and I'm just gonna let it drain out on its own. Give it a couple minutes, maybe about 10 minutes or so, and it should definitely be fully drained out. So let's let that drain out. All right, so as we can see, the oil is a thin line. It's almost done. We're gonna wait for that to completely drain out. 
but it's a tight fit under there, so I apologize for the the camera under there. It's a little hard, but so this filter I loosened it a little bit. Um, th there is oil in here, so you might want you want to wait until the oil is done draining from the bottom before you officially change the filter. I have a bag here. This way, I make less mess. I don't want to make a mess. That's the whole thing. It's a messy job, but you want to less mess the better. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about the filter in a minute. We're gonna use. Our uh, man filter and the crush wash. This also comes with both gaskets for this and the crush washer for the drain bolt. So we're gonna use all of that today. Um, yeah, so we're gonna give it a couple minutes to finish um, draining and then I'll come back. So I'll see you then. All right, and we're back. So right now, it's still draining on the bottom slightly, but in the meantime, I'm gonna set you guys right here and we're just gonna focus on the engine components. So let me grab another glove real quick. This way, try to stay even as neat as possible. I know, but okay. So we got our gloves on. I got some mechanic towels. I have my filter here, and I have some brake parts cleaner, which is I'm gonna use to clean everything off. So let's get open into this. You see, we have an OEM man filter here, which is made specifically for this vehicle. So we're gonna leave this right here because we're gonna end up using that in a second. It comes with the gasket, the big O-ring, the small O-ring, and then the crush washer for the drain bolt. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. Okay, so here's the new crush washer. I'm gonna leave this right here for a moment. I do have the drain bolt right here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it with some brake parts cleaner. take off the old crush washer I'm gonna put it right here all right so now that that's drying it, it dries really fast so you don't have to really worry about it and then now I'm gonna put the new crush washer on it this way it's just pretty much ready to install going back on dry off any oil yeah. and put the new crush washer on crush washer is done so I'm gonna leave this right here so when it's time to go back under the vehicle um now we're gonna pay attention to our filter our filters over here you guys can't see it but i'll try my best to bring it to you so hope, hopefully you guys can see okay bring you over this way some okay you guys should be able to see yep all right cool so now i got the filter here let's hurry up and get it right on this bag okay cool in the meantime, I'm just going to take out the filter here and the gaskets are, so the filter is no good, that's done. And in the meantime, I'm going to use, you're supposed to use a pick tool or whatever, but I don't have one of those right now, so I'm just going to improvise. I'm going to use something very sharp just to get these things off, the, the gaskets off the old gaskets off the filter so I'm just trying my best to get it off the top one is kind of annoying so you're gonna need a few tries just to get it up but once you get it up it's pretty good yep got it off it's right in there and the last one I'm just gonna go around go around go around leave that right there okay you have the option some people like to clean this out with brake sparks cleaner which I'm gonna do I really don't like to Leave it dirty. All right, I apologize, guys. My camera died, but in the meantime, I didn't do anything extra. I just cleaned off the drain bolt with some Bray Park cleaner. I cleaned out the oil sump and I put the oil filter on as well as the gasket here. You can see it right here and the gasket up there. I make sure, because the, the, cause the camera died, just make sure before you put those gaskets on, you, um, you pre lube it this way it creates a tight seal um so now i'm pretty sure the oil is done draining under the car so we're going to pretty much put everything back together and add the new oil all right so now we're just going to start tightening everything back up um. pacing back and forth oh i don't understand why you're standing right here all your shots have scored no 
Scratching at the scars you left on my skin Will we fight and we fall Can we rise through it all Till we find what we want Then we lose it all again Your touch on my skin Pull me close, take me Get this off Let's do Let's just do one more test round. Let me put you guys down just to make sure it's super tight. Alright, cool. To get this off, you kind of just gotta tap it a little bit. Comes right off. Cool. So now this is super tight. Yep, nice tight seal. And now we're gonna go do the drain bolt on the bottom. And again, you're gonna need the 17 mil to tighten it back up. Yes, it's kind of a mess under here. But as you can see, if it focuses in. All right, it's done draining pretty much. Still a little bit left, but we're gonna start to tighten back up. Hand tighten first. Hand tighten first. Okay, now we're gonna use the 17 now and come back and tighten it up. It's kind of cramped under here, so I'm going to see you guys when I'm from under this car and everything's tightened up. But just don't, just remember, do not tighten the screw too tight or else your crush washer will push out and you're gonna need a whole new crush washer. All right, so the bottom is all screwed up now. Um, like I said, remember, when you're, when, you're, when, you're tighten, when you're tightening the drain bolt, do not do it too tight because you will squeeze the crush washer and it will basically you're gonna need a whole new one and you're gonna be unable to screw your drain plug in but <clears throat> now it's time to add an oil i do not have a funnel but the good thing about fcp euro this thing comes with a funnel so we're gonna add the oil again this car is 6.9 quarts but we're just gonna use seven because by the time it filters from here all the way down it's gonna definitely use about seven Cool. I'm gonna set you guys down for a second because I only have one hand recording this and I need to pour this in there. Just give me one second. Alright, I got all seven quarts back in the car. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it on, tighten that cap back. I'm gonna turn it on, run it, and then just make sure that nothing is leaking from the bottom. I'm just gonna run it for a second. Like I said, we're just gonna make sure nothing is leaking from the bottom. No leaks. No leaks. We. Yep, so no leaks, that's a good thing. Always wanna make sure there's no leaks. Um, I cleaned up the engine bay as best as I could. And. Now, we're gonna reset the oil light. All right, last but not least, we're gonna reset the oil light. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Put your key in the dash. Press the button one time to accessory mode. And you're gonna, I have these little lights go off, sorry. TPMS, I hate it. I'm gonna press and hold this button right here. That little thing's gonna come up. And then now it's gonna bring you to the menu. We just did the oil. We're gonna press and hold the BC button right here. And then it's gonna reset. And the oil light is reset. All right guys, thank you for watching today's video. I just wanted to walk you guys through changing the oil on my car today. And hopefully those, those of you who have an E90 chassis also, hopefully this video can help you with changing your own oil and save you a couple bucks. Um, so with that being said guys, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace out.